everyone, my name is Jared, aka Raw Vegan Dude, and I wanted to make this video for you guys of uh, basically a fruit haul video for you guys. And um, yeah, this is a bunch of fruit that I've bought from the local uh, shops, from the markets, informal traders, um, as well as fruit that I've grown myself uh, from my very own garden. So I just want to say that before I do the videos, um, doing videos and talking in front of the camera is something that I'm totally not used to doing. So there will be mistakes. Um, yeah, so I've also got some water here just to wet the whistle. So as you guys know, I'm based in South Africa. I'm from South Africa and where about in the country is that I'm located on located on the east coast of the country um, yeah in the province of KwaZulu Natal and the biome the climatic zone that I'm located in is called the Indian Ocean Coastal Belt and it is subtropical in nature so that means we get uh, very mild winters uh, the winters are usually the, it is the dry season and we get hot summers and wet summers um, yeah, so let's get into the video. So uh, firstly, uh, these are bananas. So uh, if you know, bananas do extremely well in the subtropics. Uh, so many banana plantations in the world are located in the subtropics. So these are Cavendish bananas. They're quite a good size that I've harvested uh, from the garden last week. So I've got a whole lot more as well as uh, ladyfinger bananas and some red bananas which haven't bared yet but hopefully in the next year I'll, I'll get some uh, yeah as well as bananas doing really well here uh, another one is papayas so in Africa people refer to papayas as pawpaw especially in uh, in South Africa people call it pawpaw but um, you some of you might know that that's technically it's incorrect uh, pawpaw is a fruit that is native to uh, North America and it's more related to the Anonas. Uh, yeah, so papayas grow really well the whole year we're able to pick papayas and bananas. So one of my favorite all-time fruits, I'd have to say the most versatile fruit that you get can get as a raw vegan is the avocado. The avocados. So these are local avocados. Um, yeah, the size and shapes uh, vary quite a lot as well as the taste and textures. So avocados, we're able to get avocados around nine, up to nine months of the year. Well, we could actually get avocados. You can buy avocados the whole year, but the price, the prices will vary uh, throughout the year. But local avocados about nine months out of the year and yeah avocados uh, uh, I always have avocados so as we come into summer here in South Africa sadly the avocado season will come to an end uh, but avocados like I said they will be available at the shop so this is a normal Hass avocado uh, this is actually quite much bigger than a Hass avocado it, um, yeah, this might actually be a lamb has, but just as a size comparison, so you guys can check that out. Uh, yeah, so as we are uh, in summer, uh, mangoes, mangoes, uh, the most popular fruit in the world, um, are coming into season. So these are local mangoes. Um, I wish you could smell this through the camera, uh, local mangoes. They are my absolute favorite. Um, they smell absolutely divine and sweet, and so is the taste. Um, they taste absolutely sweet, and they are full of flavor. So um, the only, you'd say, bad thing, which I don't mind about local mangoes, is that uh, they are quite fibrous. So uh, they have a lot of fiber in them, but I don't really mind that, the taste and the sweetness really does it for me. They are absolutely amazing mangoes. Uh, I would pick them over store-bought mangoes any day of the week. Um, yeah, so these are some normal Tommy Atkins mangoes. 
that I bought from the shop. I usually don't buy Tommy Atkins mangoes, especially early in the season, is that they, they just taste completely uh, watery and crappy and they are so expensive and overpriced. But these, um, one of uh, the owners at the Green Groceries told me that to try these out, they are super tasty and they are super sweet. And I did, and he was correct. They are really good, so I've been enjoying those for about two weeks now. Um, yeah, mangoes, uh, also uh, one of the favorite summer fruits that we get here. So the next that I'll move on to is the watermelon. So all types of melons start to come into season here. So uh, watermelons uh, are must, like I could eat this. Uh, this will last one day for me. Uh, I'm sure all you uh, raw vegans know that. Probably eat a whole watermelon this size on your own. So the way I check for watermelons, um, I go around tapping them just like that. So I look for a hollow sound and it's a type of high pitch sound. So that's not going to tell you, it's not going to tell you how sweet the watermelon is, but it'll give you a good idea of the consistency inside. So. This one has a really good sound to it and I've had quite a few of them um, almost identical to them and they've all been sweet. So watermelons are in season, they have been for, the, for about um, two months now. So coming to one of um, another locally grown fruit that's, that does really well here is the lychee. So we've got some local lychees here, these are organic as well, so the avocados uh, local mangoes and obviously the stuff of hard harvested from the garden are all organic so these are some lychees they do really well here uh, sometimes you have off here when uh, the winters don't get that cold um, and they uh, the flower the fruit uh, the flowers need a, a bit of chill to set fruit the trees need a bit of chill, chill to set fruit so sometimes it doesn't get that cold here and speaking about that cold um, the coldest year I think we had was this year and uh, where I am it dropped to about five six degrees Celsius at night so that's the coldest it's ever been usually it's around 10 11 uh, degrees Celsius so it was quite significantly colder this year so these are quite good way way superior and uh, to the, the stuff you buy at the store um, yeah i just want to say that all the the fruit uh, that is here is from the country they might not be coming from my province or my area but they are coming from within the country um, but yeah even even though they're coming from within the country it doesn't mean that it's going to be a good quality so uh, another fruit that is in season but has a really short season uh, are apricots. So apricots uh, are grown in the eastern Cape, the west, uh, eastern and western Cape of the country. So that's uh, where it has a more type of Mediterranean climate, where stone fruit and uh, and apples and pears uh, do really well. Um, these are really really good I don't usually buy apricots because the quality is not there but um, the same um, the grocery store owner told me to try these out he says they're really good they're really sweet and they work they, they really were and they taste almost the same as uh, apricot sweets uh, if you guys have tried this apricot sweets in your past say before uh, you've got on to uh, becoming healthier um, yeah they taste almost identical to that so these are some apricots I've got some peppers here as well these are just sweet peppers um, I personally I know I've done it before in the past uh, raw vegans to eat hot peppers but um, over the long term uh, it, it doesn't help it doesn't do you any good from my experience so I stay away from the chili peppers and I stick to sweet peppers. Um, yeah, chili peppers burn your tissue. They obviously give you a good bit of stimulation, but uh, yeah, once you get off them, 
uh, for a while and you try them again, you realize that yep, your, your body doesn't want it. So these are some sweet peppers uh, that I've bought. Um, yeah, and last but not least, uh, here are some cucumber varieties that I've grown in my greenhouse. So uh, we've got white cucumbers, I think this is called a crystal apple cucumber. This is a suyu long cucumber, an ashley cucumber, I think, I'm not too sure what this one is called, but I think this one is a, a delicatasi, if I'm saying that correct, uh, cucumber. So I do have a greenhouse where I grow my tomatoes, cucumbers and peppers. Um, yeah, so I'll probably be doing a video of, uh, of a tour of, of my greenhouse that uh, in the few uh, coming weeks for you guys to check out. Yeah, so uh, this is the fruit hall. I've obviously got more fruit in this uh, that is in my fruit rack, but I obviously am too lazy to take everything out. Uh, yeah, so uh, if you guys are going into summer as well, uh, hit me up in the comments. Let me know if you got the same things coming into season. If not, if you're going into your winter, there's still a lot of really good winter fruits uh, for you to enjoy if, you, or if, if, you, uh, if you're able to get to the tropics or the subtropics to enjoy this uh, beautiful summer fruit. Yeah, so... Um, I'll be uh, doing more videos for you guys uh, in the future and um, I'm going to expand on the channel. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and uh, yeah, so I'll speak to you next time. Take care.